Kristen Gaiman with My Whole Kitchen and today we're going to talk about making your own salad dressing and more specifically I'm going to be making uh, my favorite, our favorite, family favorite French vinaigrette dressing. Six ingredients, the hardest part of this whole dressing is pressing your garlic. That is it. Otherwise this dressing can be made in a matter of three minutes. So very first we're going to add oil and I'm using olive oil today. I kind of go back and forth between olive oil and avocado oil depending on one if it's going to be heated which clearly the salad dressing is not but if I'm using a marinade I'll use avocado oil but salad um, salad obviously is cold the salad dressing we're putting on a um, cold salad so I don't think twice about using an extra virgin olive oil and it has an um, incredible property oleocanthal that is an anti-inflammatory so I use it whenever I'm doing something that um, with, with raw vegetables. So first I'm going to add one cup of my olive oil. And then um, as, as I'm filling this olive oil up to a cup, I just want to mention this is my favorite salad dressing dispenser. Um, it's an OX, OXO and I get it I mean, very inexpensively at like Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and then next is your red wine vinegar. Any red wine vinegar will do. I got this particular one um, at Kroger and it has the mother, which again, and I'm adding a half a cup of a red wine vinegar and I love this dressing dispenser because it has the measurements right on the side. So we have this and then now we're going to add two tablespoons just to take the bite off whenever you are adding an acid to your uh, salad dressing which you always are adding an acid. If you want to take the bite off just a little bit so it's definitely family friendly. Um, I put in two tablespoons of coconut sugar, coconut sugar because it has a lower glycemic index, but when we're doing um, more of a ketogenic or Whole30, we always leave out the sugar and it really still is delicious. Uh, next, we're gonna put in just a teaspoon of a Himalayan pink sea salt. Um, yeah, we'll put it a little bit more, okay. Now, next we are going to use a sweet paprika. It's very important that you use a sweet paprika and not a smoked paprika for this sweet French vinaigrette dressing. So we'll use a tablespoon of that. And then lastly, like I said, the garlic. Um, just getting the garlic out of uh, its garlic wrapper takes the longest. So we're putting in three cloves of fresh garlic. You know, people will ask me if you can use a garlic um, a powder. And of course, yes, for time's sake, you can use a um, garlic powder, but it is just so much better with this fresh garlic. And then the other big question is, what do I do with uh, my salad dressing when I'm done? Um, when we're when we have uh, the salad dressing left over after we make it and we use it on our salad I always leave it on the counter and I've left it on the counter up to at least three weeks every single one of these products is shelf stable so um, and what happens is when you put this particular dressing into the refrigerator it's going to solidify and you do not want, um, you don't want that to happen. So very fine to just leave it out on your counter for weeks. And within a couple minutes, we have our French vinaigrette. 